Hello Seekers! In this episode, we will examine how the Christian Bible changes the Word of God and also invents scriptures. First, let us read what God says in Deuteronomy 4.2. Do not add to what I command you, and do not subtract from it, but keep the commands of the Lord your God that I give you. Now let's compare what that little sneaky Paul did in Romans 10.8 compared to what God says in Deuteronomy 30, 11. Paul starts off by saying, what does it say? What does what say? What does the Torah say? That's what he's referring to. Let's see how he rips it out of context. Let's begin. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Okay, Paul, let's see what God actually says in Deuteronomy 30:11. Now, what I am commanding you today is not too difficult for you or beyond your reach. It is not up in heaven so that you have to ask who will ascend into heaven to get it and proclaim it to us so we may obey it. Nor is it beyond the sea so that you have to ask who will cross the sea to get it and proclaim it to us so we may obey it. No, the word is very near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart so you may obey it. No Jesus mentioned anywhere, Paul. So sneaky. Now let's take a look at Romans chapter 4. Again, Paul begins by saying, What does Scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Okay, Paul, let's see what scripture says again. What does God say in Genesis 18:19? For I have chosen him so that he will command his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just, in order that the Lord may bring upon Abraham what he has promised. Now tell me, where is faith in Jesus? mentioned here. Nowhere. Paul. Sneaky. Oh, you're going to love this one. Here's a phantom text. A completely made up scripture that does not exist. 1 Corinthians 15.4 And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Well, there is no such scripture, Paul. My goodness, how did you get away with this? Let's take a look at Deuteronomy 13, which is a test of faithfulness for the Jewish people. If a prophet or a dreamer of a dream appears among you and announces to you a sign or a wonder, and if the sign or wonder spoken of takes place, and the prophet says, let us follow other gods, gods you have not known, Jesus falls under this category, and let us worship them. You must not listen to the words of that prophet or dreamer of a dream. The Lord your God is testing you to find out whether you love him with all your heart and with all your soul. Well, there you have it. Not only does Paul change the word of God, but he adds to it and tells you to follow another God. Christianity and all other false religions are a test from God. You, sir, run right away. Yeah, there you go. Go. Goodbye. Run. Shalom. Christian brothers and sisters, I don't make these animations to make fun of anybody. I just want you to wake up to the truth. And the truth is, there's only one God, and that's the God of Israel. Once we all realize this fact, 
we can heal the world. Please read the Torah. Shalom.